I paint images of destruction and turmoil to reflect on the crumbling of Mother Earth and today's political, social, and environmental landscape. We're standing in front of a piece that we call the Furbeam. For several years, Theo and I have worked on the name Mama Tried. We produce an artist magazine of that same name. The Furbeam explores the relationship between humans and machines centered around the descent of the Furby into the uncanny valley in the minds of the masses. The pieces behind me are inspired by some of the things that I'm passionate about. I pay close attention to the things that's going on around the world and political issues. In the work Saltwater, I was looking for a language to reflect the dynamic range of waves in the ocean, looking to reveal the human connections that are formed in the face of unpredictable climate events. My paintings use repetitive shapes and uniformity to explore humans and how we create social divisions, hierarchies, and organize ourselves into groups. I make work about environmental degradation, our throwaway society, and impending ecological disaster. And I'm trying to show the contrast of the natural world with our disposable society. All the paintings are based on photographs. I'm fascinated by scenes randomly found in urban contexts. You grow organs from stem cells, and in the future, our evolution to live even longer. The new energy plan for the modern Western man is a way to address these problems that occur when we see these opportunities. I start out with making real clothes for imaginary hermaphrodites. Then I ink them up, I roll them through a press. Some of those are very standalone, but some need me to collage or paint on top of them to make stronger or to take us into another world. My work is about power as well as the fragmented nature of contemporary culture. In terms of representing power, I use five different thematic structures, and those are science, religion, sports, war, and economics. My work is focused around the idea of architectural skins and layered histories that build up over time. So my work is really interested in taking these ephemeral imprints to kind of hold memory and the history of buildings over time.